And hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made these boxes. Uh, this is by the way take two as I went to make this box on video and it turned out to be too small. And I had to do a lot of adjusting so I scrapped that, cut some more card and went to make another one. So this is the size of the box we're going to make. It's three, uh, six and three quarters by four and three quarters. It's a butterfly closure. You lift both butterflies together and with your finger you can lift the lid and that's what's inside. To close you just close both wings together them through, flatten them out and the box stays close. Right, to make today's card we're going to be a luxury only because I've got no thick um, card stock left. When I make boxes I like to use 300 GSM. So this time we're going to use foil foil card. I've got this. Can you see it? It's a textured one. Anyway, to make this we've got two pieces at ten and three quarters. They're better be. They are. By six and three quarters, which they are. We've got one that is six and three quarters by six and three quarters. That's the lid. We've also got a scrap here to do the butterflies, which we will do first, so I'll leave that there. The DSP, I'm using this foil paper we got from Celebration. It's got copper and gold in it. And I'm going to use that up. I had one sheet left, so I thought I'd use it on this box. Just to toughen it up a bit. So you need two at six and five eighths by four and five eighths. There's two pieces there, one for the front, one for the back. And then for the lid, you need it at six and five eighths by four and three eighths. You need two at one and seven eighths by four and five eighths, and two at one and seven eighths by six and five eighths. These are for the top and bottom, and these are for the sides. So we'll put them to the side for now. Now, first of all, we're going to do our butterflies because we want them to dry. So we're going to stamp out four butterflies, we'll punch out four butterflies. One. Now, because this is gold and it's only on one side, I am going to turn it over and punch the other two out from the back of the paper. So I don't want that no more. these little bits and get my glue. Right, what we're going to do is glue two together. I need to give them a bit of st strength. That's all we need. So we're gluing plain side to plain side. Just so that when they're bent up, you've got gold on both sides. And it adds strength to the butterflies. Glue the 
this one. on that for now. And we'll get on and make our box, let them dry off. Right, first of all we need to do some scoring. So with our scoreboard. And with the um, ten and three quarter side, doesn't really matter. We are going to score at two inches, turn it. Ooh, that jumped two inches and two inches. So you want to score it two inches on all on three sides. Do the same with the other one. So it's two inches and two inches. Once you've got two inches on all three sides, and then with the six and three quarter ones, you want to score a quarter of an inch and two and quarter inches. And that's it. That's all our scoring. Right, with this one, the six and three quarters by six and three quarters, where we've got that quarter inch score line, just mitre the corners. And then we burnish. And we burnish our score line, so that's our lid. Right, I'll keep that one for the front so because I've got that on the back so I don't want it showing. Right, with this we go straight up and then we mitre in. You can do it all in one go. Oh, not got that right. And get rid of that corner. So it's straight up. And mitre in this corner. And that is it on that one. And that's the back. Right, with the front, you go straight up and just mitre in these tabs. Straight up this side to the score line and mitre in or wedge, whatever you like to call it. Right, before we 
fold and burnish this one we need to measure out to cut the top because if you see on this I have shaped the top and where's my The ruler. I have actually come in three quarters of an inch. Is that three quarters? I'm going to come down an inch. I know what I did, I did it in centimetres. Right, I'm going to do it in inches. So, with, um, no, I don't need that. With your trimmer and your card, you want to put it in an inch. And you want to bring your blade down to two and three quarter inches. And you're going to cut it at all the way down to eight inches. So you're at two and three quarters and you're going to cut it down to eight inches like that so you've come in an inch half an inch sorry you've come in half an inch you've come down to two and three quarter inches put your blade in and you cut it all the way to You cut it all the way down to eight inches, which leaves you three quarters of an inch either side. I need that again in a minute to do the paper. So now what you need to do is with your ruler from the score line here need to measure in half an inch and just mark it I, I'm not marking it with a pencil because I don't know how it would rub out on this do the same the other side come in half an inch mm. well, that's come over What I'm going to do is just go up just a tad. Right, and then you want to cut from where you've marked to where you start off your cut line. Same here, where you marked. And that's how you get that shape. Now we need to do the same with the designer series paper. So we get our paper that is going to go on there. I'm going to do the same with that. So. That way, I can never tell with this silly machine. Right, go in half an inch, start 
at right. What did we come in? Three quarters of an inch. No. Let me measure that. Five eighths. I need to stand up to see this. Right. Bring your blade down to five eighths and cut all the way down to where am I? Six and one eighth. going to check what I've done here five eights five eights nice so will sit there like that so that knee's cutting all I'm doing is marking it where I want to cut it down to and I will measure it and let you know sit in like that quite nice right so your inner mark needs to be three eighths so you need to go in three eighths and mark it yeah so you need to go in three eighths and mark it and this is five eighths In there, from there to there, it's five eighths, and that is how you will get your line in or your DSP to match your shape. Thank God that worked this time. Right now, we'll fold and burnish the front. If you notice, I am running my finger over the fold first it's so that it folds down nicely and then I can run over with the bone folder to stop it cracking. That is the front of our box. So now we need to stick these together. So this one it's going to stick on this side just inside the score line so let's glue it plenty of glue to give us plenty of wiggle room how that would stick together it's gone really well together and now we need to get this side on here so put some glue oh. 
reason I'm using glue and not tape is because glue makes the box a lot stronger. There we have our box. Right, to do the bottom. This is our front piece, just checking. So we'll fold that out of the way because that's the last piece we're going to put down. This is our back piece. And it's not going down because I never mited the back. Just take a slither off. each side that's better and then we'll put the flaps down and then the front comes down all the time we're pushing in so that the box stays square so let's put glue on our flaps. Push them in. And then glue on our front piece. Making sure our box stays square. Here's the inside and just press down with your bone folder. the lid we're going to attach that like that so what we have to do here is glue the quarter inch um, we scored Trying to line it up. Make sure that's lined up properly. And then we have our lid on. So all we got to do now is add the DSP. Right, let's put this one on first. Don't know what this will look like. Nice. 
nice. Right. That space goes on. Yeah. I don't suppose it matter what way it goes, as long as it's on there. And piece for the bottom. Gives it more strength. Oh, it's too long. <laughs> Obviously never trimmed it off, so that means the other one would be the same. Should fit now. side pieces no problem with them And now the front piece, which goes on there quite nice. That way? No, that way. That's quite pretty that. I like that. Right, now to do the closure. Now to do that I used the classic label punch and all I did was pop it in as far as it will go and line the edge up with the edge of the punch and punched it out. Ow! Without squeezing your finger or your hand. And do the same the other side, as far as it'll go. Line it up with your punch. And punch it out without squeezing your fingers or your hand. <laughs> and there we have our two slots. Now our butterflies, you're just going to bend them up 
and give you a base to glue them down. So they will get glued down like that. Right, what we need to do is with a pencil, guess where your halfway mark is and mark. Is that roughly about the same? Yeah. And then with your glue and glue on your butterfly and pop it on your mark nice and straight easy if you put your hand in the box to add pressure to it so you have something to push against Just make sure your wings haven't glued down and your butter fly is straight. Why wouldn't that stay on? Might be because it's foil. I don't know. I might have to put double sided tape on it if it doesn't stick and do the same with that one Oh, these, this one actually holds 20 embossing folders, so this one will be the same. You can put, that's what I will use it for, to put my A6 embossing folders in. The other one holds 15, both of them, 15 cards and envelopes. So they're great storage boxes, you can use them for all sorts even gifts if you want this one I'm going to be sending to Gainer Boys filled with some um, things for her charity So, ideally you do want to leave it a bit longer before you play with them for the glue to dry but for the sake of the video I am um, showing you how they shut so to open lift up the wings and it will release just they will come up and to close you just squeeze the wings together close it down and open press down your butterflies and that is the box I hope you like it for take two I've done not a bad job quickly finding some card in fact I quite like this one can't make another one because I've got none of this left. Got a sheet of spotted, I think. One sheet of spotted. Right, if you like my boxes and you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Um, 
if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload I haven't put any gems on hang on stop hold the button <coughs> Um, could I put gold on top of gold? Won't really show, will they? And I haven't got any. I could put pearls on top, I suppose. Yeah, let's put pearls on. Pearls will look nice. So, just to make sure they don't come off. I am going to power down some glue and just pop on a load of gems. I don't know how many of these I'll need. Maybe five. Yeah. Five little pearls. That's nice. That right, wait a minute. Do the same here, just pop a line of glue. This glue dries clear anyway, so I'm not worried if I've got too much on it. Stick down. I've got glue on my finger, that's the trouble. Right. Straighten these up before they dry. There we are. Right then, where were we? Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Um, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.